Over the years, we've seen thousands of practical inventions, but there aren't many that will top this one for being unique and extremely versatile. You're looking at a genuine home-built, self-propelled tractor from Peter Heide. The lawnmower is Peter's handiwork, too. What makes this tractor especially amazing is the electric power. That's right, it runs in batteries, not gasoline. The power comes from twin, six-volt deep cycle batteries coupled to a 36-volt series wound electric motor. The result is amazing. Enough juice to run a 42-inch mower in the summer or a 42-inch snowblower in the winter. This 1,000-pound rig stands just over three feet wide and five and a half feet long. Two levers in the middle of the tractor connect to cams that engage brakes on each wheel and let you turn on a dime. Hey, you can pirouette just like a fancy dancer. Better yet, you can even change the seat around, face the opposite direction, and use the tractor to pull a plow or a garden cart. Peter tells us more. The control levers being centered allows the operator's seat to be relocated to the conventional seat over traction wheels position. Lift and tilt arms now serve as a three point hitch for pull type accessories. Caster wheels now are front wheels. The 12 inch wheels are driven by planetary drives from aircraft starters. Cone to dish friction drives form the transmission and allow a top speed of 5 miles an hour. The three point hitch is made of tubing and flat iron. Linear actuators, like those used to open and close bay doors and aircraft, lift and tilt the lawnmower. Service it, you simply lift the loader arms and tilt back. Then you can get underneath here and service it, wash it out, whatever you want. And uh, it's a DE 36 volt DC electric uh, mower, uh, 42 inch deck. casters on because of the way it, it turns and it has spring uh, loaded strut vertically and horizontally and it freely floats to follow the contour of your landscape. It's got three blades, each blade has its own motor. Controls are mounted right on the control lever so that you never fish for another lever. You're always there whether you wear mitts or bare hands. What happens when the juice runs out? Well, don't worry about the gas can. Just find the nearest plug-in for the charger and hook it up. It takes three hours of charging for every hour the tractor operates. Then you're off to the races again with the quiet purr of electric motors. Looks like a great idea to us, Peter. Keep up the good work.